first of all, the side that you want to do this on is going to have a metal plate in here. It's the one that comes up and you can see into the motherboard, not the bottom of the metal pan. So you can tear this metal plate out. You're going to have to do that anyway, throw it away. It doesn't serve you any purpose. Um, so yeah, you want this side of it. Get your stencil. I'll be making a Monster Energy case. I want the M to be my window. So what I'm going to do is cut out the M with my box cutter or razor, precision knife, whatever you want to do. I'm going to cut it out, put it on here, trace around it, and then I'm going to go cut the actual case part out. So um, I'm going to speed this up because it might take a little while. One more time. Stencil. We can put it on the Xbox. And trace over it. So we know where to cut. Okay, before you start cutting, it's a good idea to uh, flip it over and get rid of any uh, big screws, like the screw is going to go into this big mount right here, I need to get rid of that because the Dremel or whatever you're using to cut might have a hard time getting through it because it's thicker plastic and you need to get rid of all these lines, which you would have to do anyway because we're putting a window, we're putting some glass right here and it needs to go clean against the flat part so these lines and bars are going to get in our way. So uh, go ahead and clip off all the lines that you see here and uh, any screw mounts that your design happens to be on. I only have one right here that I'm going to have to get rid of. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm just feeling celebration tonight celebrate don't wait too late mm -hmm. no we don't stop you can't stop we're gonna celebrate Alright, now it's going to be a little bit easier when we're cutting, otherwise we would have cut so far up and it would have paused and we would have had a hard time and then we would have gone on what it kept happening, so that's going to help us out. Come on, alright, we're going to celebrate one more time. Celebrate and dance so free Music's got me feeling so free Celebrate and dance so free One more time Music's got me feeling so free We're gonna celebrate Celebrate and dance so free One more time Music's got me feeling so free We're gonna celebrate Celebrate and dance so free one more time, you just got the feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate. Okay, we have most of our logo, most of our logo uh, cut out. As you can see, the Dremel, um, it's been so fast it gets really hot and actually melts the plastic or whatever the hell this is made out of and it uh, clumps around your design and it looks kind of bad. Um, for my design, you know, Monster, it's supposed to look kind of rugged, so I might actually, I'll sand some of this down, but I might keep it on there just for looks. 
But if you're trying to do like a, I don't know, graffiti or some cool design, um, you might want to clean this up a little bit more with a sander um, than I'm going to. But um, yeah, let's get to the sanding. You'll want to flip it over and sand all of the things that you've already clipped off. Um, now that you're already sanding anyway, especially there's like this circle, circular hump thing. You want to get rid of that and just clean it up so when you put the glass on there, there won't be any air pockets that, that can cause oxidation. So sand everything down. One more time Okay, I've already marked off where I need to cut. Um, I don't need this whole sheet. I just need this square right here. And uh, be very careful when you're cutting plexiglass, any kind of glass, because if this stuff pops off, it's not like the plastic. The plastic burns, this cuts you. So just be careful and go slow. Okay, now that you have your plexiglass or glass or whatever you chose to use cut out and clean, make sure it's clean because what we're about to do, you're not going to want to clean in between your design. Flip over your design. Make sure that you did sand this because this is where I told you you'd have to have whatever you're using for the window clean against all the marks. So you're going you're to want to put super glue, obviously, all the way around the glass. But also, since mine goes in and out, I'm going to want to put super glue up and down this too, just to make sure that this isn't flapping in the wind and looks really tacky. Celebrate and dance so free. One more time, this cabin feeling so free. We're gonna celebrate, celebrate.